Hey guys, me host Superzaro, thank you very much for tuning in. We're gonna go shopping! And I'm gonna bring you guys along. It's our weekly toy hunt. And there's a haul at the end of it. And it's gonna be one hell of a haul. I've already got a boatload of stuff there. Some more on the way. We're gonna pick up some stuff while we're out. So let's go toy hunting, guys. I wanna bring you guys along. And like I said, stick around to the end of the video to see this week's haul. It's gonna be epic. Superzaro Jr. somewhere out there. Where's she gone? Kicking about somewhere out there. There she is. <laughs> I knew you were coming. I could hear you a mile away like an elephant. Should we take everybody shopping with us? Yeah. Let's go toy hunting. Which one do you fancy? That was this one, Paige. Do you like that one? Or do you want a different one? Which one do you want? I like it. You like it? Yeah? Yes, please. Thank you. So do you want to have that one then? So our first stop of the day is over at Smith's. We're going to see what they have on the shelves. Look, it's the new RC um, drone for the Bottle Bus, which looks really awesome. That's something I would definitely think about picking up, you know. It looks a lot of fun. It's about £50. Then they've got a new squad pack of Domez as well. I love the fact that no matter which manufacturer it is, they still call them like Solo, Squad and Duo and stuff like that. In keeping with the actual game itself, I really like that. This was a really cold wet afternoon and I was really grateful to get out of the freezing cold rain. Horrible weather in England this time of year. But they did have the quad racer which is for the McFarlane's figures. And they did also have the uh, RC car for the um, Jazzwares as well. And a bunch of the new 6 inch line by Jazzwares too. Um, they do have the McFarlane's figures as well but there was nothing that I was needing. The only real one from the Legendary series that I might pick up. Uh, would be the Levithan, but again, I'll probably skip him this time round. Then we're going to move on, and it's time for Fortnite again a little bit here. And as you can see, they've got some really cool stuff in stock as well, um, including the new Jazzwares line of figures. Um, I think their Wave 3 is out now in England. I have seen a few Wave 4 kicking about. Uh, it's crazy. They seem to be you know, pulling these figures out thick and fast now. I did notice as well that the Giant Titans Heroes figures did come in a big pack now. And finally, the, the Legend series for the UK is on the shelves in Smith's in my local area. And they had tons of them. They're going to be peg warmers for years now, them things. And they're never going to buy many more in. What a weird line of figures to come out. And then it's the Red Gauntlet, which we have reviewed on the channel. Um, as well as the Golden Gauntlet. Both of those in stock. And then it's time to look at the advent calendars. Yes, it's the most wonderful time of the year. It's Christmas. And we have Harry Potter, Fortnite. Ooh, some more Fortnite goodies up here, including the the, uh, the bomber. And the Marvel uh, figure set as well. These are all the uh, pint-sized hero figures brought to you by Funko. And as well, they had some Funko mystery minis down below. And a giant Olaf, how cool is that? A giant Olaf, it's special edition here at Smith's. So that's a really cool figure to have. And of course they had the uh, Water Horse Spirit as well. That's a nice big pop as well. So that was really cool to have in the collection. I was thinking about getting that. And then this awesome four pack. Now these are the adventurers that are going to be going on the adventures. It's Elsa, Anna, Kristoff uh, and Olaf as they head off into uh, the new land. Oh no, I'm dropping things everywhere. It's pick them up, Will Tor. <laughs> Drop things on the floor, Will Tor. That's what Grim says, isn't it? <laughs> and then it's the new Funko board game. I'm really thinking about picking this up, you know. I think it would be a lot of fun. Would you guys like to see some videos of me and Mrs. Super Sorrel and our friends taking on the Funkoverse? Let us know down below. They do have a clearance section on Pop Vinyls as well, so get yourself down to your local Smiths, as some of them are marked down in price. But I'm here for one thing and one thing only, and that's the exclusives. And sometimes, obviously, uh, they, they get stuff early, like this. Child's Play 3 Special Edition Chucky. I've not seen this anywhere else, so I'm guessing this is a Smith's exclusive. Awesome. And as well, they have some of the new Dark Crystal Pop vinyls as well. And they have that giant uh, pop there from Harry Potter. That, that was a New York exclusive. I've forgotten her name, Madame. Madame something or other. I forgot it. It's gone out of my head. But yeah, lots and lots of pops in this store at my local Smith. They have a lot on offer. Moving on to Disney Store. And as you can see, they have some more animators packs, including this awesome Tangled doll. Uh, it's the princess when she was a baby with the uh, aerial little, um, what do you call it, mobile uh, over the top of her in a little bed. 
So that's a cool one to have and it does make noise. This was about £50, I think, Mr. Supersaw said this was. But it is a very cool collector's item. I think that'll be worth a lot in time as well. Yeah, just £50, I believe that is, for that one. And it does make noise and things. This is called Animator's Collection Origins Series, where they come out as babies. So, very interesting. I wonder if they're going to re-release uh, Moana in that series, as well as the, uh, in her baby form from the movie, and re-release that and call that an Origins one. Who knows? But let's keep looking around the store. They do have this giant animators pack, which now includes a baby Charlotte. But look what I found! Yeah, I found the motorcycle set for uh, Winter Soldier and Captain America from the Toy Box Marvel line. And if we keep moving further down, you will see that we had lots of other things on offer, including other Disney princesses and Charlotte from the Princess and the Frog, finally in stock. We're very happy to have her. Prince and the Frog, as you know, is our favourite movie. Every time we go to Walt Disney World, we stay at the New Orleans French Quarter Resort, which is based on uh, the Prince and the Frog movie, or it is now. Was It didn't used to be, including Princess Tiana's Royal Rooms. And as well, we have the Nightmare Before Christmas. If you are needing that Jack Skellington like I've got, everyone was on about the Pumpkin King, he is in stock. And this awesome, cute little plushie from the Christmas collection is awesome. I really want him. And he's just £13 to pick up, so definitely going to be grabbing one of those before the end of Christmas. It's super cute. It looks really weird as well as his little Mickey Mouse ears. It's dead weird. But yeah, it's definitely something I'm going to pick up. It's good. It'll go with the rest of my uh, Nightmare Before Christmas plushies, which I have all of them now. And there is a Buddy the Elf exclusive over at the uh, Entertainer, and they also had all the X-Men as well of the first class. Very tempted to pick that line of pops up as well. And they had a bo boatload of the Movie Mania, sorry, Movie Minutes, I think they're called. But um, I couldn't get those. They were behind the they were behind, they were behind the actual till. And the guy on the till uh, wouldn't let us film, sadly. So I had to sneak around the store with my camera. Hey guys, me host Supersaw, thank you very much for tuning in. And I'm here today with... Paige! <laughs> Supersaw Jr. Super Junior. That's your name! <laughs> Supersaw <Sorrel> Junior. <laughs> One day, <laughs> in the words of Lion King, everything the lake touches is our kingdom. <laughs> Except that shadowy place. Don't ever go there, that's DC Comics. <laughs> Anyway, so guys, let's get on with today's haul. We've been shopping, as you guys know, and we picked up some awesome goodies. By the way, if you're wondering what that was on the television, because I could see it in the background, it's That 70s Show. Can't beat a bit of That 70s Show. Can't believe that. I, I, forgot, I forgot to turn the TV off before I started the damn video. <laughs> right, guys, so we picked up a load of boatload of new things. So the first thing we picked up that Super Soul Jr. is dying to sit and watch. Descendants 3. This is the Disney Channel original movie series about the daughters and sons of the Disney prince and princesses following the story of Maleficent's daughter and Beast's son along with um, <coughs> the son of Cruella de Vil, the son of Jafar and the daughter of the evil queen from Snow White and in this one the daughter of Snow White, uh, uh, sorry, the uh, daughter of um, Sleeping Beauty turns into the villain. It looks an awesome film and it's also got Hades in it as well. It stars uh, some Disney stars that you're probably aware of like China McLean and it's also um, the last movie of Cameron Boyce uh, who sadly passed away. There's also Sophia Carson, Boo Boo Stewart and Dove Cameron and Cheyenne Jackson from Broadway. So that's going to be a good movie to watch. I don't see you. What? You have to come this side if you want to be on camera darling. She's just come to the side of me. So yeah, Descendants 3. It's a bit, it is a kid's film, but you know what? Me and my daughter actually, I enjoy watching it with her. You enjoy it, don't you? Yeah. Then we've got a package here from DVD Locker. Now, DVD Locker is a new subscription service, and they do um, send us DVDs each and every single month uh, to review and things like that. <clears throat> so let's see what they sent us this month. I did choose horror as like my favourite genre, so let's see what's in this month's box. So here is uh, DVD Locker's details, it says, Greetings movie lover, your movies have arrived from DVDlocker.co.uk. Please do go ahead and check them out guys. They have sent me this free of charge for review purposes. 
Yours to keep forever. No need to post back. Build up your personal movie collection and protect the environment. Fancy more movies? Then simply upgrade your package and we'll update them. Uh, rate all the movies and love our service and give us an early email and stuff. So, yeah, that's cool. Thank you to DVD Locker. They have sent us two uh, movies here. They've sent us Carnival Werewolf of London. Very similar to Dog Soldiers, but with civilians. One hell of a picture. It's 18 certificate. And it states, Something evil is lurking in the woods. Dave and Abby rent a cottage in a remote forest in a last-ditch effort to save their failing relationship. What they don't realise is that fearsome beast is lurking in the trees, just waiting for the right time to attack. Does the creepy owner of the cottage have anything to do with the bloodthirsty creature? And will they have ever get out of the cottage alive? And they also sent us Patient Zero, which is actually starring Matt Smith, Natalie Dormer and Stanley Tucci. Uh, find the disease, find the cure. So that one looks interesting as well. So yeah, find the disease, find the cure. In a pandemic thriller, Patient Zero, humanity is battling intelligent, adrenaline fueled creatures born from a virus, viral super strain. After being bitten, human survivor Morgan, played by Matt Smith, realises he is uh, a system... What the hell is that? Asymptomatic? And can communicate with the infected, leading the last survivors on a hunt for Patient Zero and a cure. Also starring Natalie Dom from Game of Thrones. Interesting couple of movies there. They're not, they're not like, A-list movies. But they're still interesting enough that I'll probably give them both a watch. Especially that one with me, with Natalie Dormer and Matt Smith. Didn't, didn't jump out at me with anyone that I knew in this one. This feels more of one of those, like, B-movies, you know what I mean? Like, it's going to be a complete rip-off of, like, a mix of, like, Howling and American Werewolf in London. But we'll give them a watch and we'll see what happens. So thank you to DVD Locker for those. <clears throat> if you're wondering what's going wrong with my voice, by the way, it's slowly going and I don't know why. And the more I'm talking in this video, the more my voice is straining. <clears throat> I think I'm going to be without a voice tomorrow. Uh, so I went shopping, guys. I went to Smith's and Smith's have got in this awesome new Chucky Pop. This is Chucky from Child's Play 3 and it is a special edition pop. Yeah, guys, so that, that is just $9.99 at Smith's. So please do go check them out. Like I said, it's special edition number 798 in the collection. I'm probably going to give this a proper review, guys, if you'd like to see it on the channel. Let us know down below if you want to see a Chucky Pop review. Alright, moving on, guys. In Demand Toys. We've got a brand new box from them. Let's see what they say. Let's go over this. wonder which pre-order this is. Ooh! I say that, guys, because I generally don't know what it is until it arrives, because... I get shipping no notifications, but it doesn't tell you on, like what's a, what was shipped. <clears throat> and I have so much on pre-order, it could literally be anything that's shipping. So we have Ghost Yoda. The brand new Ghost Yoda in the collection. It isn't exclusive, because uh, it's got no number on it, but I don't know where from. But this is the brand new Ghost Yoda. Or Force Spirit Yoda. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, strong with the voice you are. Mmm. Page turners, they were not. <laughs> what? <laughs> Judge me by my size, do you? Mmm. <laughs> Wisdom, child does not have. Mmm, <laughs> Yoda voice I like doing. <laughs> Laugh, you must stop. <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> no. So yeah, Force Ghost Yoda. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being mad today. Uh, like I said, it is an exclusive, I'm not sure where from, but I will find out and I will give this a full review on the channel in the coming days. Next up, guys, is Squared Circle Box. This is a box that's provided to us every month, free of charge, and we do love reviewing this. I will be giving this its individual review on the channel, guys, so please make sure you come back and check that out. <coughs> I believe this month's box has something from Abyss and other Halloween sort of themed wrestlers. So uh, yeah, do come back for that. It has arrived, I think it's a little bit late. Obviously October have gone, Halloween's gone now, but still it's gonna be an awesome crate to open. With it being sort of the darker side of wrestling, could, could that include Paige? Not you, the other wrestler Paige. Sorry, her little ears pr pricked up at her name. Yes, yeah, so that, that is who I named her after, by the way. It's <laughs> So yeah, Squared Circle Box, come back to see a full review of Squared Circle Box. 
The lovely people over at Heo.com sent us through some awesome figures to review, including McFarlane's for get off Fortnite. McFarlane's four Fortnite figures, including the Prisoner. I've been dying to get this one. This is a, such a different looking figure. It looks so awesome. Looks like something out of Dark Souls. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to having that in the collection. It comes with a big battle axe. He also comes with a really cool backpack piece, and he also comes with a, 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 a Smith & Weston sort of six shooter. I've been wanting that gun for a long time because I've got an idea. Well, because I've, I've now got a cowboy hat, I've now got a cowboy vest, and I've now got a gun. I'm going to try and custom a Deadpool so he's like a Western Deadpool. So yeah, plan on doing that real soon. But yeah, we do have this awesome figure to review for Hio. And not only that, guys, but they did also send us the Giant Ice King as well. This is one of the larger ones. Uh, as you guys remember, I did do the... Um, it was called Raven, was it? Or was it Omega? I can't remember the name. I think it was Raven. Um, we did review the larger one last time, but this time we've got the Ice King, which is my personal favourite. It just looks so badass. So I'll be giving him a full review on the channel real soon. Excuse me. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> then, guys, we had a delivery from Amazon. What could it be? Let's take a look. I know, I know what this is, and I'm stupid. Enough, but... And it's arrived in good condition. I was expecting a lot worse. X-Men, Havoc and Polaris 2-Pack, Marvel Legends. So happy to have this in the collection, guys. Hi, uh, Amazon have had this um, arrive early for UK stock. I'm not sure why. I didn't pay above the odds either. I paid $34.99 with free delivery as I'm, as I'm a Prime member. So that's about the same price as what I would have paid the other, uh, the other retailers. Uh, so I was happy to go with Amazon on that one. Get off the boxes. Let go of the box, darling. Paige, let go of the box, please. Put it back. Don't make me shout at you on camera. Good girl. <laughs> Shh. So, we did get this this two-pack a little bit earlier, guys, as I said. Really happy to have this in my collection. My voice is going worse. Oh, my God. I can feel myself breathing really heavy now as well. Chest infection's coming! <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be a really awesome one to review. I can't wait. Polaris and Havoc. Finally got a new Polaris. I want to do a body swap as well and put this new Polaris head on the old Polaris figure. See if we can update that look. I'm gonna kill this child. But either way, some awesome new figures there to review from Marvel Legends. And as you guys know, I'm a massive, massive X Men fan, so stupidly happy to have these. And finally, guys, we went to Disney Store. Superstore Junior's been dying to know us in this box. But she knows that logo. What's that say? Disney What's it say? What shop is that? Disney World. Disney. What's that say? What is it? Star. Star Wars! <laughs> she can't read yet, but she recognises the logos. Like, I swear... Oh, I, I swear they've drilled it into children, because every time she passes a McDonald's, she knows what that big golden M is. It's ridiculous. <gasps> right, guys. We have Charlotte from Princess and the Frog. They've given us a new updated version of the 12-inch Charlotte doll. Charlotte, if you die, if you're not familiar, is the secondary character from Princess and the Frog. She's best friends with Tiana, and in the end actually helps her out. Um, so again, uh, she's a nice figure to have in the collection. Uh, Miss Super Sorrel really wanted to review this one, and I really wanted her to review it as well, because it's not. A, they don't normally do these kind of figures. They normally do the, the princess and, and the prince themselves. They very rarely give you other characters. So it's very cool to see that they're finally given us a Charlotte. It really, really, really makes me hope that we finally get you know, Lady Tremaine and the two stepsisters from Cinderella. I would love those in the collection. Or like the Seven Dwarves to go with Snow White. If this sells well, I can imagine them doing other secondary characters. But yeah, for now, we'll be reviewing this real soon. That's Charlotte. Um, Mrs. Super Sorrel has been slowing down her reviews to her own channel because we're slowly shifting her back to being reviews on here. Just because we don't need two channels. So, <laughs> Mrs. Super Sorrel will be reviewing all her stuff on this channel going forward. Right, guys, and finally, something awesome that you guys have been dying to see. It's 
got the shield. I've got the arm. Hydra! <laughs> Those guys smell like snakes. So this is £34 and it is the motorcycle set of Winter Soldier and Captain America. This is from Disney Store, like I said, and it's a part of the Toy Box range. It's really cool. Well, are you dying to see it? I'm going to press. You want to press? There. <laughs> so yeah, that is a really cool set as well, and I'll be reviewing this real soon on the channel. Um, again, there's, I don't think there's a leaflet, but I'd like to say there's a leaflet in this one on to tell us what's coming next. But I don't think there is. But I will know when we open it fully on the channel. So guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. I know I enjoyed doing it for you. I hope you enjoyed watching. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, SuperZoral. I'm going to go drink some lemon tea and try and get this voice sorted so I can review all these items for you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you to Heo, Interman Toys, Smiths, Disney Store, Amazon, Heo.com, and DVD Locker, and the ringside... Uh, uh, the, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, Square Circle Box. I couldn't remember the name. Square Circle Box. Thank you very much to everyone for sending those things through. Guys, as always, I'm your host, SuperZoral, and I'll see you guys in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!